Let ABC be the side length of a triangle. Prove that a squared b times a minus b plus b squared c times b minus c plus c squared a times c minus a is greater than or equal to zero. This is an algebra problem. The question is what we do with the geometric condition. We know. The sum of any two sides is greater than the third one, but these are not convenient to use. In this video, I'm going to discuss a trick using a special substitution. Consider a triangle with set lengths A, B, and C. Every triangle, no matter what shape it is, always has an inscribed circle. Tangent to three sides at three points. These tangent points partition each side into two parts, total of six segments. By two tangent theorem, each vertex has the same distance to two tangent points, so the segment lengths can be labeled as x, x y, y, and z, z. Then we have side length a equals y plus z, b equals z plus x, and c equals x plus y. Conversely, for any positive real numbers x, y, and z, we define, if we define a, b, and c this way, then A, B, and C can always be the side length of a triangle. You can easily check, for example, A plus B equals Y plus Z plus Z plus X. That is greater than X plus Y, which is C. Let's solve the problem using the substitutions A equals Y plus Z b equals z plus x, and c equals x plus y. For the first term, a squared b times a minus b. a squared is replaced by y plus z squared, and the b becomes z plus x. a minus b equals y minus x. The other two terms are similar. Expanding the squares and the multiplications and combine the like terms, there are only six terms left. A lot of cancellations. The inequality becomes x y cubed plus y times z cubed plus z x cubed is greater than or equal to x squared y z plus x y squared z plus x y z squared. The inequality can be easily proved by arithmetic mean geometric mean inequality. I color the three terms on the right side for better demonstration. x y cubed is actually the first term on the left side. x y z squared is a term on the right side, the colored blue. The sum of these two terms is greater than or equal to two times square root of their product, so-called AMGM inequality. Now look, there's a two x term, x times x, x squared taking square root, that would be x. For y, we have a y cubed, times y, that's y to the power 4, taking square root, that's y squared, and z squared, square root, that's z. So we have 2 times this term. So this is um, a green term on the right side. Similarly, we have y, z cubed, the second term on the left side, plus the red term on the right side is greater than or equal to 2 times the 
blue term of the right hand side, uh, right hand side. and uh, the last thing inequality is d x cubed plus the green term is greater than or equal to two times the right term of the right hand side. Sum up. So we have x y cubed plus y z cubed plus z x cubed plus the three terms on the right hand side of the target inequality is greater than or equal to two times the right hand side of the inequality. After cancellation, the inequality is established. Thank you for watching.